Sit back as I break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Baby, sit back as I break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Even sit back as I break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Baby, sit back as I break it down. Break it down. Break it down. You can sweat back as I break it down. What is up, everybody? Pucci Sada here with another episode of the Philly Cheese Steak Tour. And this is my friend, Q. What's up? You. And this is my first guest on this damn series, but definitely not the last. And having him on this show, I had to get him for this cheese steak because we are, we, everyone who knows me know that this spot is my favorite cheese steak spot. So I'm going to be a little bit biased. He won't. So that's why he's here. Yo. All right. So today we are doing. Ishkabubbles. They don't have a fancy wrapping. They just have a brown bag. But this is the size of their cheesesteak. Normal size. So, uh, Q, why don't you inform the people a little bit on uh, what do you think? What do you think is going to happen with this cheesesteak? I think it's going to be a bomb. I've never had an experience with an Ishkabubbles cheesesteak that was bad. So I'm hoping it won't be today. I've never had a cheesesteak this early. So we're going to see how more the cheesesteak tastes. All right. So, uh, here we go. Right off the bat, my shit already got some grease coming through the wrapping. It's always a good sign. Yeah, it is. Ooh, look at that. That's, that's a lot of grease right there. Y'all know me, the grease here the better. See, mine wasn't that greasy. All right, so we all know the drill. Fried onions, mayonnaise, ketchup. It's and the way of life. All right, so let's just see. Oh, see, look. This split. You guys know how important this split is to me. I'm right. sorry. You can go fuck yourself. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to judge this roll. I give the roll a. I got to give it a four out of five because it is greasy and it's not holding the grease too well. Or, yeah, no, too well. So, because um, it's grease on the sides, grease on the top. So I, I give it a four out of five. What yeah, do you think? I, I, I agree. I definitely agree. Four out of five. Well, mine's isn't as greasy as yours. Mine's is holding a lot better. Yeah, mine's is is like really greasy on top, but like on the side. So definitely giving us a the bun at the roll a four out of five. Yeah, you look greasy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is how chopped up a fucking cheesesteak should be. See that right there? Nice, fine, a lot of meat, really chopped up, and you can barely see the onions in here. So this onion size is fucking perfect. Five out of five for the onion size. Look at, look he's spicing it. I knew you could see that onion right there. Look at it. Bro, my shit, it. my shit is fine, bro. Look at it. All right, so uh, let's go for the first bite. All right, All right cheers. How you feeling after the first bite? I don't know. The money is definitely a little crunchy, but no, that's definitely some good shit. Definitely. Oh, God. I'm just going to have to separate with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, definitely the greasiest I had on this, uh, on this series so far. Definitely can put the mayo a little more. It feels like it's only at the bottom. I don't know. My mayo is actually pretty good. It's not. It's not too dry, and it's not like it doesn't overpower anything. Like, for instance, uh, I'm giving this meat to cheese ratio actually a, a five out of five as well. I can taste it. Like, I can taste the cheese, and then taste the meat, and then like when you're chewing it, it stays there consistently and shit like that. So okay. I'm definitely. For me, meat to cheese ratio, five out of uh, five out of five. Yeah, I can, I can give it that. Now the condiments, I give it a three out of five. I you feel like the onions. No, with just like the like the ketchup. Oh, ketchup and shit. I just feel like they can put just a little bit more. Like you shouldn't only taste it when you bite in the bottom. I, I, I should taste it when I'm biting the I, whole thing. I can agree to that. I can I can agree with that. 
It's pretty cool. But, uh, I mean, I just can't get out. It's <laughs> kidding me, to take the video. Huh? <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta play the show now. I gotta play the show. So, overall, what are you rating this cheese steak? Definitely give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for you? Yeah. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. <laughs> nah, I'm sorry. It's like a great cheese steak. Uh, I can eat this cheese steak almost any day of the week, or every day of the week, honestly. But uh, yeah. So, for me, overall, 9.5 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. So, if you're on South Street, there's two locations for Ishka Noodles. One where you can sit down and eat, and one where it's just takeout. I'll leave the information for both of them in the description below. Um, make sure you guys grab this fucking cheese steak at any time of the day. Doesn't yeah. fucking matter what time. All right? So, that's it for me. Uh, tell the people where they can find you at. They can find me, follow me on Instagram, QFitch. I'll leave that. I'll leave that in the description below as well. And you guys know where to find me. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and make sure you drop a recommendation. And I'll be back again. All right. Peace.